Good morning. Uh, so Rat's stash is just a rat today. Uh, Todd unfortunately is working um, and today is the big setup for the Ag Hall uh, gigantic yard, indoor yard sale. So I'm here with my Cheyenne. Can you see her? There she is, my Chevy Cheyenne. She is 31 years old. So when I say I sell vintage, I live vintage, I live vintage. My truck is 31 years old. Uh, I sometimes feel like Sanford and Son when I'm driving around in it. You remember that show? <laughs> the big old truck, red truck. All right. Well, um, I'm going to show you in a minute all of the vendors that are in line here. It's about, I think they said 200 to 300 people uh, are going to be set up inside. So. I'm gonna do this all by myself. I'm gonna unload this truck. And I'm going to be proud of doing that by myself. And I'm gonna to show Todd that I can do it. Uh, so uh, sadly, I'm missing my partner. <laughs> I really need him, but uh, I'm gonna do my best. All right, talk to you later. View of my Cheyenne, Chevy Cheyenne. Uh, she's getting a little gray on top, but hey, aren't we all? At 31 years, so I uh, just wanted to show you. This is how all the vendors are set up here. This is vendor entrance, and people are lined up here to get in, and people are lined up at the front door. Those are just the vendors for check-in, so um, it's getting exciting. I'm really excited for the show. It's the first time we're in the show, uh, so I'm getting excited. All right, so let me take you and take a look inside the truck. Oh, you like my Harley Davidson? Yeah, and proudly served in the US Navy. That's my hubby. It's a little chilly, but I am wearing a t-shirt, yes. And look at inside the truck. Eight foot bed, and it's 100% packed. So. All right, we're gonna have fun trying to get this all together. I just have confidence. I think I'm gonna do it. Totally gonna, been pumping myself up since 7.30 this morning, and I'm totally gonna do it. All right, don't mind the huffing and puffing, but we got the table. I shouldn't say we. My father, he's such a wonderful man, came to help me, and he brought me this hook. So look at here. Look at this hook. Pulls him right from the front. Then I have to jump in. Whew. I hope my husband's going to be proud. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Okay. I'm going to catch my breath. Carry more stuff in. All right. Bye. I did it. I did it. Empty truck. Empty truck. Just empty bins. Six eight foot tables. No. Yeah. Six eight foot tables. Uh, two cart tables and a eight foot bed full of stuff. And I did it all by myself. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hurt like heck, my arms are killing me, but I did it. And you know what was the best is, I love my father so much. He's the best guy in the whole wide world. He heard that Todd had to work and uh, he came over this morning and helped me. Um, 70, uh, how old, 74, 74 years old? 74 years old, came over and helped me. Um, he helped me carry the, the eight foot tables. Those are hard to carry by yourself. But um, I am done. Now I get to go inside and unpack. <sighs> All right, talk to you later. <laughs> I love my job. I love my job. I love what I do. I love what I do. I love what I do. <laughs> I guess I got my workout today. All right, bye. Tables are set up. I have uh, the tables all set up in a horseshoe kind of sideways E figuration. And the bins are on the tables, ready to be unpacked. So if you ever want to know all the work that goes into setting up a spot at a flea market, it's a lot of work. I am uh, huffing and puffing a little bit yet. I'm huffing and puffing a little bit yet, but um, it was a good workout. I feel good. I can do this. So, um, missing again, I'm missing my buddy, but I know he has to work and he's working uh, 10 times harder than I am today. So, 
All right, well, it's time to set up, and I'll show you a video when it is set up. So uh, I thought I'd take you along to see what it, all the work that goes into setting up a flea market. And this is happening 270 plus people all over this place. So by the end of tonight, this all will be set up for us to be selling. I have my green band and dad has his white helper band so we're safe <laughs> all right I'll let you go so this is our video of how to set up a flea market Everybody, so um, I like I said I don't think we're going to be able to do a video tomorrow during the show I know um, I normally walk around flea markets and talk about things but tomorrow is going to be very 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 busy um, it is a very busy show there's probably going to be close to three four thousand people here so I don't um, think I'll have any time walking the tables so I just wanted to show you uh, a video of how to set up a flea market and what all the work goes in I started at 8 a.m. Uh, this morning is when the doors opened up and it is now 6 40 p.m. and it is finally completely done um, I did take a break in the middle uh, to sit down for a moment and get something neat but um, it did take all day to set this up so I'm gonna walk the tables here um, and show you everything that we have for sale uh, one of the newest things that we just got in an auction is the tree toppers we're selling them for five dollars a piece this uh, is a new rack that we have here uh, my friend Paulette she is doing one at her stand and I'm like oh my gosh that is so nice I'm gonna copy it so I did and it's four shoe or, I'm sorry three shoe boxes and it's four foot racks that we put together and it's a really nice display for the toys so I'm using that from her. Um, this is another item that's really neat. This is something that we just got at auction also. It is a uh, nine piece wooden vehicle set and it comes with all the accessories. We're selling them for $10 and we have brand new packs unopened. So they're great for Christmas. Here's our blind boxes for um, Masters of the Universe. And we have the Kripkins blind box. Those are very new. This guy's still hanging around, so hopefully uh, he does sell tomorrow. If not, he'll sell at Comic-Con. This is from San Diego Comic-Con, so I'm hoping that he'll he'll sell. But uh, if you remember the video of all of the toys, this is all that we have left right now. Just the rest of just our odds and ends, things that we have acquired through auctions and such. This is really neat. This is new. Our Mickey uh, record player. So that is that is new. I think I, I saw actually a lot of vendors looking at that while I was setting up today. So that I'm sure is going to sell. Here's Mr. Goodyear, 100 anniversary doll. Our Hess boxes. These are two old uh, sewing boxes. They're probably from about 50s, 60s. So we have two of the sewing boxes. Those are really nice. They open up like this, and they are full of notions. So we have two really nice boxes. Those are for sale. Here is the Comic Digest books. Most of them are Archie, right, Archie? Archie. Yeah, most of them are Archie. And then we have eight long boxes, right? Eight? No, six. We have six, but we have two more coming, right? Yes. We have, uh, we have six right now on the table, but we have two more coming. So we'll have eight long boxes here to go through of comics. Our comics are 50 cents a piece. And then the last is our jewelry 
it's just costume jewelry, nothing um, expensive, already been checked, so we sell them for a dollar. And our DVDs, uh, CDs, and our comic books are all 50 cents a piece. All right, Todd, you're checking out what I did. How did I do, babe? You did great. I did Wonderful. good? Yeah? Yes. Am I hired? Minimum wage? Minimum wage. <laughs> yeah, I probably made minimum wage today. So, um, I'm tired. So, Todd, you're... You're tired, so you deserve rest. Yeah, well, you worked hard today, too. You have a hard job. Your main job's a hard job. It's a hard job. <laughs> Uh, Todd works for a septic company, so yeah. Insert word of your choice in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, most tables are covered up, so everything is ready to go for tomorrow. So be here tomorrow, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And then Sunday it is 10 a.m. till 4. 4, yes. 10, 10 to 4. Okay. All right, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care. This is a life of flea marketing and what you have to go through. So I'm going to go home, probably eat ice cream, and then uh, fall into bed because every inch of my body hurts. I don't know how Todd does this uh, show after show after show. I really uh, do appreciate him a lot more now that I actually had to do it because normally he is the guy who empties the truck and hauls everything in and I just set up so I had to haul stuff out of the truck with a help a little help from my dad and then set up so I'm a little tired it's teamwork folks we work on teamwork 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 Team. yeah all right I will talk to everybody t well no I won't I probably won't talk to anybody tomorrow but um you guys take care and if you come out, stop by the, the shop, say hello. Um, love to see you. Let us know that you're a subscriber. All right, bye. Tomorrow, Ag Hall, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Out. Bye-bye. Look -bye. what Ty got me for doing a good job at the flea market setting up. Thank you, honey. Welcome. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, CMP with uh, vanilla peanut butter ice cream. Cool. And I got one too. Yep. CMP with banana peanut butter fluff ice cream. <laughs> Alright, so um, just to recap everything that happened today. So at 8 o'clock, uh, the door is open. We went in. Um, me and my dad. Uh, my dad came over and he found out that Todd was working, so he came over to help me carry these eight foot tables in. They're very heavy and really cumbersome, so he helped me with that. And then I emptied the first truck. I came, went home for lunch, and then um, loaded the truck again for load number two, right? And then we took load number two over. Me and Todd together took load number two over and set up that. We had an eight, two eight-foot tables and a half of a six-foot table that still needed to be filled, right? Yeah. So now it is 7.10. They kicked us out, so everything's set up. <laughs> and I'm having ice cream. This is my dinner. And I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going home. I'm going to take a shower. And I'm going to fall into bed. How's that sound? Good idea. Great. And tomorrow, um, we don't have to pack up, which is really nice because it's there Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday, so we don't have to pack up. Right. So tomorrow, we're going to leave and have a nice dinner. We're going to go out for dinner. Grumpy's. We can go to Grumpy's. We'll yep. go to Grumpy's barbecue for dinner. Oh, my gosh. You live in the Lehigh Valley. Grumpy's is the best ribs ever. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So, um, and coleslaw, love it. Um, and then we're going to go home and we're going to watch the Svengoolie. Yeah. It's my favorite Saturday night, sitting on the sofa watching the Svengoolie with Todd and the dog. And the cat. And the cat will come in once the dog falls asleep, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so um, I look uh, worn out. Yes.
I do not look pretty. I know. Me either. <laughs> You're supposed to say I look beautiful no matter what. You're always beautiful no matter what. No. It doesn't count now. I told you to say it. Whatever. All right. Um, bye. I want to eat my ice cream. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching us. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little bell so that you get notified every time one of our new videos go on. So please subscribe. We really have, we have so many views. We almost have a thousand views yep. of our videos. But um, we need subscribers. So you need to subscribe. Please subscribe. It's free. It's free. It's not like Disney Plus or Netflix or anything like that. You don't have to pay for it. It's free. Subscribe. And I'm more entertaining. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. Good night, everyone. Night. Bye. Bye.